Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm gonna to be doing a Bible journaling process using the new Jamie kit from Felicity Jane. I know I mainly use these kits in like scrapbooking and memory keeping and things like that, but I do like to pop over and show you some different ways to use them in my Bible, since I know lots of you guys use them for that. So I am diving into the 100 Days to Brave uh, devotional book from Annie Downs because I need another book, study, or project, like a hole in the head. <laughs> But I keep seeing everybody talk about this devotional book and it's been sitting on my desk for about three weeks now and I just need to dive in. They are super simple daily short devotionals. Um, I've read books by Annie before. I listened to her podcast. I just adore her. And the word brave was my one little word a couple years ago. And so I thought it'd be nice to just kind of have a short devotional that I can just read through each day. I'm not going to really be Bible journaling a lot of these but I will periodically hop over in Bible journal and that's what I'm going to do today. So starting out in the very first entry, we're talking about what it means to be brave. What is brave? And so I wanted to kind of create a little prayer pocket um, with just some prayer, like private prayer area um, to start off this project for myself. And so I'm going to be using the kit to do that. And the Jamie kit came with these really fun vellum pockets. And so I wanted to show you how I will use that to create a little journaling area um, on this page. So let me go ahead. I'll put you on fast forward and we will get this page put together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a little cluster down at the bottom here. And originally I thought I would use this floral pocket, but there was just a lot of floral. So I swapped it out for this black and white pocket. I don't know about you, but whenever I get a new kit like this, I have a tendency to want to use hashtag everything on the first uh, project that I do with it. And that was kind of what I was running into with this. I wanted to use everything, all the die cuts, all the papers, all the, all the, all of it. So I had to kind of refrain and pull some things back. So you can see here, I just created a really simple little cluster there. And then I have this um, paper from the essentials line from Felicity Jane, and it's like a pink line grid. And I used a tag die to cut out a tag that would fit in this pocket. And that particular die also has a whole reinforcer. And so you can see it's a smaller tag. It's a little bit small for this pocket, but I wanted it to really tuck down and nestle down into that pocket. So um, I'm looking at that space at the top is going to be where my title is. And I really wanted to play with the branding strips from the papers. The papers themselves are beautiful, but also I am in love with the branding strips. So I went over to my trimmer, cut off all the branding strips, and I'm going to create this fun little staggered textured area um, to put behind my alpha stickers. So I'm just kind of laying out all of those strips of paper. I also cut a strip from that floral paper um, a slightly whiter than the branding strips just to kind of break things up and I wanted to add some stitching detail and the problem with Bible journaling and journaling in a journal or a traveler's notebook is it can be kind of difficult to uh, stitch or sew with a machine anyways and so this is a little trick I have for getting that texture and that detail without actually sewing directly onto the page. So I have a piece of just plain computer copy paper and I've torn it down to a smaller piece and I'm actually going to adhere all of these strips to this paper first. Um, I fiddle with it quite a bit, more than I needed to, um, but I just use a very small amount of dry adhesive to stick those down and then I will take this whole piece over to my sewing machine and stitch it and then I can just adhere that down to the page so you'll kind of see how that plays out here in a second but um, I am journaling in Isaiah 41 13 that says for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you do not fear I will help you and this is the the verse that goes along with the devotional for today and so that is where I am journaling and my title is going to say what is brave since that's the title of the devotional <laughs> we're not going to over think things today. Um, on screen here you can see I'm just cutting away any of the excess copy paper. So it's just on the back side of those strips of um, or the branding strips. So I took it over to my sewing machine and my sewing machine has dozens of different stitching details. So I just used a variety of them to stitch along where like two strips meet. 
if that makes sense. So it kind of looks like they're stitched together. And then I can just uh, use some dry adhesive on the back of this piece and then stick it down. So it looks like it was sewn into my Bible, but it wasn't. I didn't have to like lug my Bible over to my sewing machine. I didn't have to worry about stitching detail going on the back side of the page. And you could do this with die cuts and tags and paper scraps and pockets and whatever you're adhering down into your journal, your notebook, your Bible. Um, this is a great way to add that stitching detail. So uh, I'll just go ahead and trim off anything that's hanging over the edge there. And conveniently, all those strips are still stuck together. And so I can use the remainder of that on a different project if I want to. So it just adds this really fun kind of handmade feel to the page here. So I pulled out some of these gold chipboard alphas from Felicity Jane to go along with the black ones from the Jamie kit, um, just so that the word brave can really stand out. And like I said, this was my one little word a couple years ago, and um, I definitely, it means something different to me this year than it did two years ago, uh, two years ago, or three years ago now, gosh, three years ago. Um, I didn't really have a YouTube channel. I wasn't doing classes. I wasn't on design teams. I wasn't doing any public speaking whatsoever. I wasn't doing teaching Bible studies, none of that. And that year was such a huge growth year for me in um, just multiple opportunities that I had to step out and be brave and um, have a voice and a platform and share the word of God through that. And so um, this year, brave looks different. Brave looks like um, making changes, doing new things. Um, I'm quite comfortable speaking in groups now and, and doing this channel and doing Bible studies and things like that. But um, there's just, they're just new things that I have to face and be brave about this year. And so that's going to be ever changing. I think every year is going to be a little bit different. So I'm excited to kind of see how that plays out. And I'm really excited to go through this devotional and see where Annie kind of takes us um, on this journey for the next hundred days. So before I stick down that pocket, I did go ahead and add a couple more of those branding strips down to the bottom just to bring some more color and texture and to kind of bring that um, paper element down to the bottom of the page. And then I can go ahead and adhere the pocket down. Like I said in my unboxing, these are awesome. They are so easy to use. Uh, I like to adhere it down by slightly kind of like... I don't know, pushing the edges together. I know that's not gonna make sense, but that way the pocket has a little bit more room. If you stick it completely flat down, it makes the pocket kind of tight. So you just kind of have to play around with it. Um, but now I can just slide that tag in and you can see the tag's kind of loose in there, but I will fix that here in just a second. I'm gonna stick down this huge floral piece. It's Some of those pieces are hard for me not to just hoard. I either want to use it right out the get-go or I want to hoard it forever. So <laughs> we're just going to use the big pretty ones right from the start. So I'm kind of flipping through, looking to see, you know, there's a lot of white space still left on this page. So I'm trying to decide like how much white space do I want to leave? How much do I want to like add all the things? And so I decided to add another one of the little tags to the tag that I have in that pocket. And that tag, the way I attach it is actually going to help it so that the tag that's in the pocket <laughs> doesn't fall to the bottom of the pocket. And you'll kind of see how that works out here in a second. But and I'm just gonna use some of these puffy stickers from the Jamie kit to kind of jazz up that little green die cut tag. And um, primarily like 99% of the things I'm using today are from the Jamie kit, but I did use a couple things from other kits. Those will be linked down below if they are still available from Felicity Jane. So you can check that out. So you can see I'm kind of looping and tying that tag. And so the little tag will hang in the front of the pocket and then the big tag will go down in the pocket. And that little tag will kind of keep it from falling deep down into the pocket, if that makes sense. <laughs> so it's just a little design element. There's nothing, no, no writing on it, nothing important or anything like that. I'm just gonna layer a little die cut floral and then one of those puppy hearts from the puppy stickers. And then just brings some more color and just fun to this pocket and further goes to kind of disguise that tag. So like I said, it's going to have some prayer journaling on there as well. I remembered this, um, Buffalo plaid washi from Felicity Jane. I think we got this last month with the Lindsay kit. And so I'm going to layer that behind the tab and that's just going to pull in some more of that pattern up to the top. 
Um, like I said in my unboxing video, I'll link that down below. I like to cut tabs in half because I'm a hoarder and I need all the tabs. <laughs> so I cut it in half and get twice as many. I went into my stash and pulled out the Brie stamp kit or yes, the Brie stamp because it had the perfect little brave word. And so I'm going to be leaving this out while I work through this brave devotional. And so I can use that stamp again and again and again, fit perfect on that tag up there. And then I'll go ahead and highlight the verse with some highlighter washi. And on the tag, which you'll see in the photos over on the blog, I wrote on the front of it, um, brave people don't stop hearing the whispers of fear. They hear the whispers, but take action anyway. And that is a quote from um, Annie in her book here. And I just really, really loved that. I just wanted to kind of remember that um, highlighted piece from the devotional today. And then I can also go ahead and add some prayer journaling um, onto that tag as well. So I'll go ahead and finish up the entry with a date stamp and that is going to be it. So you can head on over to the Felicity Jane blog to see more close-up photos uh, and check out the description box for links to everything that I use today. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.